welcome back to my channel today I will be showing you how to permanently add your measurements onto your canvas head and uh, you can pretty much do this for each uh, canvas head I have sizes ranging from 20.5 to 24 circumference and this one right here is one that I've already done just to show you what the end result will, will look like and uh, this is a 23 and this just helps with getting accurate measurements for your wig making just to make that process a little much a little more easier and today I'm just using the um, the measuring tape and it's the soft ones and you can get these from Amazon and uh, these are the measuring tapes as well and I went ahead and pre-cut them based off the measurements I'll be using for this particular head size and um, they have the colorful ones or you can just use the uh, white ones they do just come in white if you just want to um, have um, just a certain color uh, but I chose to do uh, the ones with the multicolors in the pack and um, they do have some that have several in there so if you just look on Amazon and just type um, the measuring tape into the search bar they will pull up for you but I will also include a link in my bio so it'll make it easier for you to find and this particular canvas head is the 21.5 circumference and this is the one that we will be using today so I can demonstrate how to apply these uh, little soft measuring tapes here properly on the canvas head and everything that I use today will also be in the um, link at the bottom of this video and this right here is called shrink wrap and I also got this from Amazon and it comes with several I believe it was a pack of 100 and this is what I put on the canvas head kind of to preserve the canvas head and you can um, re not reuse it but you can use a different one if that the other one gets too old and this is the heating gun which is what I will be using to heat up the shrink wrap to get it to uh, stick to the canvas head I shall say and here at the front I usually just um, measure nine inches from the bottom and that's where I draw my line to start um, where I would place the tape as far as mimicking the front of the hairline why it is nine inches from the bottom I'm not sure but it actually works and I got this method from stylish by T I believe that's her name on Instagram and um, she is the original person for this um, canvas me canvas head measuring type of system and it works really good for me uh, it's a really foolproof system and it actually helps me so much with my wig making and it makes the process so much faster but now you see me here measuring nine inches from the bottom which is um, where I drew my line already from the bottoms but I did the demonstration just to show you all and then you're going to see me put my first part of my measuring tape here and I'm just going to place a piece of tape to hold that uh, measuring tape in place and like I said it's already pre-cut so I don't have to do any measuring or anything um, I know what the measurements are for the 21.5 canvas head uh, so I went ahead and pre-cut it so all I have to do for this video is just tape it down but as you know the measuring tape is going to come longer so you're just going to have to cut it to the measurements of the certain canvas head that you'll be using uh, for this system and I like I said I do have every size from 20.5 to 24 and uh, I have done all of these for them and all of the measurements will be different for each size so just please keep that in mind and if you're not sure of the um, the measurements for the canvas size that you're using you can actually go to Google or you can go to Pinterest and you can find like a universal chart and uh, those will give you the exact measurements that you need to use
and now you just see me taping down the um, second little measuring tape here just to keep that in place so we don't have any issues when we apply and melt our shrink wrap and uh, we have our little third tape here which is the pink and that's going to go around uh, the back of the head for the temple to temple measurement so basically the blue is the front to nape measurement and the yellow is the nape measurement and the pink will be your temple to temple measurement and I'm sorry I didn't didn't specify earlier in the vid video what all of the tapes mean but I'm actually happy that I use multicolors so I can identify those for you all in the video And I'm just getting that tape um, as straight as possible. And once it looks good to me, I'm just going to tape that uh, pink tape down just like I did the other two. And then we're just going to move to the next step, which is applying our shrink wrap. And this is my favorite part, just to see. Uh, that shrink wrap uh, just melt right before your eyes like I don't know that's just my favorite part and what you see me doing here with my other measuring tape is just making sure the sides are even as far as the temple to temple measurements I'm kind of like a perfectionist so uh, that's what I'm doing here it's not needed it's just something I do uh, but it won't mess you up if you don't do it. As long as it's as straight as possible, uh, you'll still be fine. And now I'm just going in and adding that shrink, shrink wrap onto my canvas head. And it's kind of like a little bag. And I'm just going to add that. And then uh, we're just going to melt that to the canvas head. But you just have to be really careful because if you don't melt it right, it'll be bulky and it'll just have... Um, like I guess it'll like lines in it and it won't be as smooth as you may want it to be so uh, I'll just show you here how I do mines and it's so easy and um, I just kind of go in and just with my fingers just to help it uh, smooth out just a little bit but I'll stop talking and just show you how I do this um, particular step And see, I like to go in and tug on the bottom a little bit just to help it um, move down a little further and smooth out a little better. And you will see it gets smoother as I tug because it's hot. So it gives you uh, the opportunity to be able to pull on it. And it's a little more stretchy when it's heated. So I just do that just to get it to um, adhere to the bottom like I like. And uh, once it cools, um, it won't be as easy to tug. 
but uh, this is the method I use to get it to uh, stay in place like I want it to just so I don't have any issues when it when it um, cools off and it actually uh, sticks to the bottom like I want it to I shall say and then I'll just cut off the extra later and you'll see that in the video as well and I just go back in and kind of just iron out any bumps or anything that I have in the shrink wrap but this is pretty much the process here and this is pretty much how I do it and it's really simple honestly and um, all of these items are pretty um, pretty cheap so um, it's not really costly to do this uh, the highest item would actually be the canvas head of course and um, like I said I'll put all the products I use today in this video uh, below and with the links so you can go ahead and get those items if you'd like but this is pretty much um, how it's done I hope this helps thank you so much for watching remember to like comment and subscribe